The Philippines Electricity Sector An In-Depth Analysis Part 2 uh, of B Regulatory and Operational Challenges of NGCP in the Philippine Electricity Sector The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines NGCP plays a crucial role in the country's electricity sector. As the sole operator of the National Transmission Network, NGCP is responsible for ensuring the reliable and efficient delivery of electricity from power plants to distribution utilities and large industrial customers. It is the first time the in the history of our nation that the three major power the grids, those of the zone of Visaya the and Mindanao, are now physically connected. <laughs> Given the country's growing demand for electricity, driven by economic development and population growth, the performance and challenges faced by NGCP are of paramount importance. Understanding these challenges is essential for policymakers, industry stakeholders, and the general public to ensure that the electricity sector can meet future demands and support the country's development goals. The key stakeholders in the Philippine electricity sector include the government, regulatory bodies, power generation companies, distribution utilities, and consumers. The government, through the Department of Energy DOE, sets the overall energy policy and strategic direction for the sector. Regulatory bodies, such as the Energy Regulatory Commission ERC, oversee the implementation of policies and ensure compliance with regulations. Power generation companies are responsible for producing electricity, while distribution utilities deliver electricity to end users. Consumers, both residential and industrial, are the ultimate beneficiaries of the electricity supply chain. Additionally, international organizations and investors play a role in providing technical and financial support for infrastructure development and modernization. Each of these stakeholders has a vested interest in the efficient and reliable operation of the NGCP as it directly affects their operations and the overall performance of the electricity sector. Regulatory Challenges The regulatory framework governing the Philippine electricity sector is primarily established by the Electric Power Industry Reform Act EPIRA of 2001. EPIRA was enacted to promote competition encourage private sector participation, and ensure the reliable and affordable supply of electricity. The Energy Regulatory Commission, ERC, is the key regulatory body responsible for overseeing the implementation of APIRA and ensuring compliance with its provisions. The ERC's mandate includes setting tariffs, monitoring market behavior, and enforcing regulations to protect consumer interests. Additionally, the Department of Energy DOE plays a crucial role in formulating policies and strategic plans for the energy sector. Despite these efforts, the regulatory framework faces challenges such as bureaucratic delays, regulatory inconsistencies, and the need for continuous updates to keep pace with technological advancements and market dynamics. The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines NGCP encounters several regulatory hurdles that impact its operations. One significant challenge is the lengthy and complex approval process for infrastructure projects. Obtaining permits and clearances from various government agencies can lead to delays in the implementation of critical projects. Additionally, regulatory uncertainties and frequent changes in policies can create an unpredictable business environment, making it difficult for NGCP to plan and execute long-term investments. Another hurdle is the stringent regulatory requirements for tariff adjustments. While these regulations aim to protect consumers from excessive charges, they can also limit NGCP's ability to recover costs and invest in necessary upgrades and maintenance. Furthermore, compliance with environmental regulations and land acquisition issues can pose additional challenges, particularly for projects involving the construction of new transmission lines. The regulatory challenges faced by NGCP have tangible impacts on its operations and the overall reliability of the electricity grid. 
For instance, delays in obtaining permits and clearances can postpone the completion of critical infrastructure projects, leading to potential bottlenecks in the transmission network. This can result in power outages or reduced reliability, affecting both residential and industrial consumers. Regulatory uncertainties and frequent policy changes can also hinder NGCP's ability to attract investments and secure financing for long-term projects. Additionally, the stringent tariff regulations can limit NGCP's financial flexibility, making it challenging to allocate sufficient resources for maintenance and upgrades. Compliance with environmental regulations and land acquisition issues can further complicate project implementation, leading to increased costs and extended timelines. These challenges underscore the need for a more streamlined and predictable regulatory environment to support the efficient operation of NGCP and ensure a stable electricity supply for the Philippines. Operational Challenges the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines NGCP faces several operational challenges that impact its ability to deliver reliable and efficient electricity. One of the primary issues is the aging infrastructure of the transmission network. Many of the transmission lines and substations are decades old and require significant upgrades and maintenance to meet current demand and safety standards. Additionally, the geographical diversity of the Philippines, with its numerous islands and varied terrain, poses logistical challenges for the construction and maintenance of transmission lines. Natural disasters, such as typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, further exacerbate these challenges by causing damage to infrastructure and disrupting operations. Another operational issue is the need for advanced technology and skilled personnel to manage and operate the grid efficiently. The integration of renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind, into the grid also presents technical challenges related to grid stability and reliability. One notable example of the operational challenges faced by NGCP is the impact of Typhoon High in Yolanda in 2013. The typhoon caused widespread devastation, including significant damage to the transmission network in the Visayas region. Transmission towers were toppled and substations were flooded, leading to prolonged power outages and difficulties in restoring electricity supply. The recovery efforts highlighted the need for more resilient infrastructure and better disaster preparedness. Another example is the challenge of integrating renewable energy sources into the grid. In recent years, the Philippines has seen a surge in the development of solar and wind power projects. While these renewable sources are essential for sustainable energy, their intermittent nature can cause fluctuations in grid stability. NGCP has had to invest in advanced grid management technologies and develop new operational protocols to address these challenges and ensure a stable electricity supply. The operational challenges faced by NGCP have a direct impact on the quality and reliability of electricity service delivery in the Philippines. Aging infrastructure and the logistical difficulties of maintaining a geographically dispersed transmission network can lead to frequent power outages and reduced reliability. Natural disasters can cause significant disruptions, resulting in prolonged power outages and delays in restoration efforts. The integration of renewable energy sources, while beneficial for sustainability, can also pose challenges for grid stability and reliability. These operational issues can affect both residential and industrial consumers, leading to economic losses and reduced quality of life. Addressing these challenges is crucial for ensuring a stable and reliable electricity supply, which is essential for the country's economic development and the well-being of its citizens. Oops, that is so far the first part of the subject matter. The second part of the video will include the solutions and recommendations, the future prospects and strategic initiatives, and the conclusion. Please bear with me for this. And so. Thank you so much for watching and learning something about the electricity sector in the Philippines. Please do follow and watch again for my next upcoming video presentation that should be relevant 
exciting, and insightful topics worth of your precious time and attention. Thank you so much and God bless us all. I love you all.